The Veterans Affairs Hospital in Indianapolis is among those tagged for further review after an initial audit last month. Officials initiated a full-scale national investigation following claims of long wait times and falsified records at VA hospitals around the country. Indianapolis Routabush VA Medical Center made the list released this week of 81 hospitals and 31 clinics that are now receiving additional inspection. Sarah Whitmire reports that while some are calling the situation an outrage, others say they have no complaints about Indiana's VA. When Ronald Mays graduated in 1967, he expected to get drafted. Back in those days, you uh, pretty much figured you was going to get a one-way ticket to Vietnam. Mays spent a year in Vietnam. He was exposed to Agent Orange and suffers from a variety of health problems. Last year, he had a tumor removed. It was cancer. Ten rounds of chemotherapy, 17 radiation treatments, and surgery. And now Mays says he's doing okay. He credits the Routabush VA Hospital in Indianapolis for his recovery. They took care of me. No complaints. I mean, it was just... They done everything very quickly and got me going before the cancer had a chance to get going. Mays has been using the VA for all of his medical services for more than a decade and says he doesn't hear many complaints from people. But according to results of the internal audit released this week, the average wait time for a new primary care patient at Routabush is about 54 days. That ranks it among the worst in the country. Now, it's important to note that once a patient is in the system, it typically takes them less than three days to get an appointment. It's unclear why the facility was tagged for further review and if it has something to do with the wait times. The audit looked at these main questions. Do frontline staff receive appropriate training and supervision on scheduling practices? Do frontline staff members exhibit the proper understanding of scheduling? Do frontline staff members receive instruction to modify dates when a veteran wants to be seen? What are the main barriers and challenges staff members face in offering veterans timely access to care? And do they feel personally capable of delivering high-quality service? Even though I don't live in Indianapolis, you know, there are still, I'm sure, veterans that woke up this morning and said, oh my gosh, well, I wonder if I'm getting their treatment. I wonder if I'm getting legit treatment. I wonder if I'm even on the waiting list. You know, these are questions that are around the country, so we all take it pretty seriously that we want answers to what's happening in our state. I associate myself with the comments of everybody on this committee. Volorsky is on the House Committee on Veterans Affairs. At a committee meeting this week, she called on the Department of Justice to investigate whether there's criminal activity involved. I guess the two things that, you know, I came away with two weeks ago was this. There has to be criminal investigation, and to know that there are 69 criminal investigations going on tonight, I think is breaking news to the American public, and I, I agree. Indianapolis and Danville, Indiana are on your list for further investigations. My Hoosiers in state of Indiana are going to ask the same questions. Well, well, what do I do? Well, when are we going to get the information? And I guess I'll take it on the record that we're going to get information when you get it. I want that clean seal of approval. I want Hoosiers to know um, that they can trust, you know, the facility in Indiana and that, you know, they should have no reason to worry and their family members should have no reason to worry. But, you know, I want those reports to make sure that's clear. A spokesperson for the Routabush VA Medical Center told the Indy Star it was a surprise that the center was flagged for further review. We're not sure why we're on the list. With the other 80 medical centers, the spokesperson said, VA officials won't say whether Routabush is one of the 69 facilities being investigated for criminal activity. Jim Brown is the Indiana Director of Veterans Affairs. He says his office supports what the VA hospital does because it's, quote, well managed. And we work rather than throw rocks at them and criticize them because then you don't have a good communication. While releasing the audit this week, the interim head of the VA also outlined a number of reforms, including removing the 14-day scheduling goal, establishing accountability systems, enacting a hiring freeze, increasing medical staffing, and creating a new patient satisfaction measurement. Back at his home in Brown County, Ronald Mays says he's sure there are some things the VA can improve upon. After all, the VA serves more than 9 million veterans across the country. But Mays says for him and his needs, the VA is doing a good job. 
yeah, I got some problems. I ain't, my, my ears are very bad from the incoming and outgoing. <clears throat> I have PTSD, they tell me. Didn't know I did until my vet rep asked me about it. And, and then I got the cancer. So, but it's just, you take one day at a time. Thank God for what you got. Thank God for the great country you live in. Thank God for the wonderful VA that's taking care of me today. The FBI is now involved in the VA review in Phoenix, but it's unclear whether that investigation will expand to other facilities. Members of Congress, including Wilarski and Senator Dan Coats, continue to push for the Justice Department to launch a full-scale criminal investigation.